Hi guys, and welcome back to Station Tutorials. Today I have one that falls more in the realm of what I would say is more of a secret than a tip or a trick. Eh, it's a trick as well. What I have for you today is copyright music workarounds. There are a couple of ways or a couple of things you can do that can get you around these certain restrictions. While I don't condone doing this, I will provide you with a couple examples of how, but don't do it. All right, here we go. Here's the track I have. You've obviously heard that one before. I'm using it because I can. All right, you can right click on this and bring up the change speed. And now what you can do is either speed it up ever so slightly or slow it down ever so slightly, thus changing the speed and rhythm of the song and the pitch, making it less recognizable or, in certain cases, unrecognizable. So let's just slow this down to about 90, hit OK, and now if we play this back, It's a little deep, it sounds kind of weird, maybe it's just because I'm so used to hearing. Now that one sounds really fast. I mean, that this sounds like something that would be in a video game, like first person shooter or something, I don't know. But now we can go the other way with it. Maybe over would be better for this track. So let's go to 105 and... Yeah, maybe we're like blowing away a bunch of zombies or something. Okay, you get the picture. If you don't change it enough, it may still pick it up. So you have to flirt with that happy medium between changing it subtly and still having it be unrecognized or not be able to be picked up. Another option here, without affecting the overall speed of the track, another way to do this is we can go into our audio filters and we can change the pitch of the track. So you throw a pitch on there, and we can adjust this one way or another. Now the pitch will just be slightly higher. Let's just go 200. Instead of rendering this out every time, you can just go over to the uh, preview window. Okay, that's not bad. So that versus this. Yeah, so changing the pitch. Um, if you wanna go the other way with it, it's just gonna go deeper. So we could just slap a negative 200 on here. And like I said, this is another one, you gotta push it far enough, but you obviously don't wanna push it too far so that the track is not recognizable by your viewers. Unless it sounds cool and that's what you're going for. Hey, to each his own. Negative pushes the pitch deeper, positive pushes it higher. So that's easy to comprehend there. Okay, so providing those examples, I would say that the pitch is a better way to go because it's not actually adjusting the speed of your song. But if you want to be safe, do both. I'm not going to say I've ever done that, but if you want to be safe, do both. You can always test it out. If it doesn't work the first time, pick yourself up and try again. This can be done in any editing system, doesn't matter. Just because I have Final Cut here, don't worry about it. If you have Premiere, if you have Avid, if you have Sony Vegas? <laughs> Just kidding, Vegas, awesome. High five to you Vegas is out there. What is there, one? Yeah, I can hear him. Hi Vegas guy. Okay, anyways, as I said before, I do not condone this. You are proceeding at your own risk. All right guys, take it easy. I'll see you next time.